who is one of our smoke alarm technicians, here to give some tips for tenants on if you have a smoke alarm going off in the middle of the night, what you can do to get some sleep. Uh, so some of the options are, well, first of all, you can try the button in the middle of the smoke alarm. Uh, hold that down for about 15 to 20 seconds, and that should hopefully stop all the alarms. In the event that it doesn't stop the alarms, uh, they either slide off or pop down, depending on the brand, and you can remove the battery and that'll stop them for the night and the rest of the smoke alarms in the house will continue working. Okay, this is obviously if there is no obvious signs of fire and you're confident that it's just a smoke alarm fault. Um, and how can a tenant know which one? Which alarm do they take out? How do we know which alarm it is that's, that's causing the issue? Uh, so sometimes it can be a process of elimination, but there are ways to tell. Sometimes you get a flashing light, depending on the brand, a flashing red light. Yep. Um, so you generally go to that one, remove that one, and if that stops it, then you got to the problem straight away. Yep. Yeah, awesome. So that is going to help you get some sleep in the middle of the night. Um, you'll still be okay because the rest of your smoke alarms won't be disengaged. It'll just be the faulty one um, that will be disconnected from the system. Is there any other tips you've got from tenants on what they should be doing? Uh, no, that's, it's pretty straightforward. You don't need to do tea towel dances or anything like that, even if there is smoke from burnt toast or anything like that, but just the button will sort that out. So. Okay. And don't hit it with a broom. Yeah, please.